Hello everyone. This video is going to cover chapter 10, sections um, three through five. Section three or objective three is all about manufacturing product costs and how they affect the financial statements. So to start, um, this should look familiar. It's one of the horizontal statement models. Um, should look like some of the homework you did for class today. And for that, I just wanna highlight these four events. Um, event five is buying office equipment and it's for your sales and administrative staff. Because of that, um, when we depreciate it, and they, they use straight line depreciation. So um, in the book on page, what page is it? Hold on a second. We're talking about um, page 370. Um, they tell you that the useful life or the estimated salvage value is $400. So this is page. So we get $2,800 was what we paid for it. Our estimated salvage value is $400. And the useful life is four years. When we do that math, you should end up with your depreciation cost of $600. Now, because this is office furniture and it's not directly tied to the product, it is depreciated right away as a product co or period cost. So this depreciation is like a period cost. Um, event seven, we're buying manufacturing equipment. And notice that both of these two events are investing activities because there's specific capital for the company. We're investing in the company. Um, when we depreciate that manufacturing equipment, we take our original price, salvage value is 1500, and then the useful life is three years, which gives us that $1,000. But because it's directly tied to the production of our product, we move that depreciation over here into inventory. And then depending on how many you sell, so we've got three, four, five, six thousand dollars in inventory. Well, we only sell $4,000 of that six. So some of that depreciation is still stuck here in inventory and the rest of it um, is in the balance sheet in this $4,000 expense. See if I can get this to work again. There we go. Um, so the flow of the costs, we typically see labor if it's your production wages, so it's your people that are actually making the products, that's gonna go into your balance sheet as inventory and then to the income statement as cost of goods sold. If it has not been sold yet, it's stuck in the inventory account in the balance sheet. You're selling an administrative fee, so your salesmen, your managers, their salaries go directly into the income statement. They don't have to wait in an asset um, account in the balance sheet at all. Um, and again, here's just a, another overview of that event eight, where we were looking at the overhead costs uh, of the depreciation overhead costs. That $600 for the office equipment was expensed directly. It just went straight to the income statement. Whereas that manufacturing depre equipment depreciation was split in between um, the balance sheet in your inventory and the cost of goods sold. Um, when we looked at it, I believe I said there was $6,000 worth of total asset or total inventory and we sold 4,000 of it. So of the $1,000 that came in, maybe two thirds of it was sold. Um, so you might be, see that you've got uh, $666 that was transferred over to the income statement while 300 and some dollars is left in the balance sheet for inventory or yeah, in inventory depreciation. Um, so again, here's how that works. You've got that thousand dollars of depreciation that we dealt with. We moved it over to inventory and then we had two thirds of it was sold. Two thirds of our inventory was sold. So about 666 of it moved over to the cost of goods sold. Well, we had $333 left still there in our inventory balance. Depreciation of that office furniture goes straight to your income statement as a depreciation expense. 
And then here's what um, your balance sheet would look like um, for the financial statement. And again, these are taken directly from the balance sheet that we looked at earlier um, when we looked at those five, four events. Your cash, your inventory, the biggest difference is that we've got that depreciation. So you put what you, what you bought it for or what you paid for it, what it's depreciated, and then what the book value is now. Same thing with the manufacturing equipment. And then you should see that your totals should be the same, just like before. Um, the only difference here is we're not using any liabilities in this example. So you've got your stockholders equity equal to your totals, total assets. Um, so just a quick closer look at your overhead costs. Um, overhead costs are some, are some sort of costs that cannot be easily traced to your products. Um, so these types of costs could be um, indirect labor. So looking at maybe security or inspectors or um, maintenance personnel, anybody that's got to come in and work with it, but it's indirectly tied to it. Um, it might be uh, your factory utilities. It could be the rent of your manufacturing facilities or the rent of your equipment. And then again, the depreciation on those manufacturing assets. Um, indirect cost allocation, when we have indirect costs, um, we allocate it using averages basically. So if we look at these two chairs, if it costs, if we use eight hours of work um, and it, we used a total of $30 and $90 worth of product. Um, we take our $120, divide it by our total hours, and we get $15 per labor hour. So that's how we would um, allocate that cost. And then we would split it up $15, okay, two hours. So this chair gets 30 and the table gets 90. Our um, just kind of a brief overview again of all those product costs. So we get, this is on page 375. So we've got our raw materials. We've got our direct labor. Again, those are your people who are actually working on um, the product. And then we get the manufacturing overhead. Um, so again, you've got your indirect materials, glue, labor, nails, or, sorry, not glue and labor, glue, nails, paper, oil. Um, if you made, let's go back to this one. So again, maybe I, just refreshing. If we say that we've got a $15 um, per hour for labor and it takes us two hours here and six hours here, that's how we'd say, you know what? Um, this chair costs $30, this table costs 90 because of how many hours it was put in. But if you're making those, you might not know exactly how many nails were used in each of those. Um, maybe you lost a nail. Maybe you're putting in a screw and it got stripped. Um, so you don't know exactly, but eventually you do know how many boxes of nails that you used. Um, just like glue, you might know how many bottles you use, but not necessarily how much on each product. So that's why it's an indirect overhead cost. Um, and again, looking at the salaries of those super production supervisors, the inspectors, maintenance personnel, uh, rental costs, utility, depreciation, security, um, equipment. So if you have setup equipment or setup costs for your equipment or just the maintenance costs for the equipment and the facility.